Hello friends, so here we are with another question on electric field. So the question is that point charges Q1 equals to 3.6 into 10 to the minus 9 coulomb and Q2 equals to minus 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb are located in air at points A and B respectively. And we have to calculate the magnitude and direction of the net electric field intensity at this point P. Okay. So this is the question. So let us solve it. So as you can see, it is uh, evident that this is a right angle triangle. So by application of Pythagoras theorem, this hypotenuse, it will be root over of 0 0.03 whole square plus 0 0.04 whole square which will be 0 0.05 meter okay this one now uh, then another thing is we have to calculate the electric field due to these individual charges q1 placed at a q2 placed at b at the point p respectively so here q1 is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb and q2 placed at b is minus 3.2 to 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb so the basic principle of electric field calculation is that we at the point where electric field is to be uh, calculated we assume that there is a unit positive test charge play present okay plus q0 we assume that and then electric field is equal to f vector by q0 the unit positive test charge so this q0 will always be missing but what this positive charge means that this th this thing will always be missing from the electric field equation the test charge will always be absent because in the coulomb's law expression it will be in the numerator and then it is in the denominator so they get cancelled out so what this positive does is that here it is positive plus 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb so the electric field intensity it will be you know directed away from this point P because of the repelling nature of the coulombic force electric force so it will be like this this is the electric field vector E A P because of the repelling nature of the columbic force ok then then we have is here Q2 is minus 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb and here it is positive ok here it is positive so the electric field at point p due to this charge q2 at b it will be directed like this towards b why towards b because of the attractive nature of columbic force the attractive nature of columbic force so the electric field will be directed towards p here it is directed away from a away from p but here because they are unlike charges one negative one positive unit positive test charge it is directed towards p okay if it would have been positive it would have been directed away from p in this direction in this direction okay in this direction away from p towards the right hand side would have been if q2 would have been positive but as it is negative here it is towards p so this is uh, e B P vector electric field due to B at point P E B P vector the angle between them is 90 degree because this one is 90 degree this will also be 90 degree now let us calculate E A P and E B P values ok so E a p vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 first is q a 
charge placed at A divided by AP whole square. It is actually Q1, okay? Charge Q1 is placed at A, so it is Q1 by AP whole square, which is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 to the power 9. Q1 is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb by AP which is 0 0.04 whole square. So this is equal to it is coming the magnitude 3.6 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. This is the magnitude. Okay, EAP vector magnitude and the direction is in this direction away from P towards the uh, downward direction. Okay, downward direction. Then we have EBP vector magnitude. So EBP vector magnitude, same formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 charge is placed at b by bp whole square which is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 is minus 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb bp is 0 0.03 whole square so that is equal to Uh, if we calculate, it is coming around uh, 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb, that is EBP vector magnitude. So here we have EBP vector And here we have EAP vector. Okay, the magnitude is equal to how much EBP? We calculated 1.8 into 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 4, yes, 1.10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. And this is EAP vector 3.6 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. So this is point. P, okay. This is point P. We have to find the net resultant, the magnitude and direction. So the resultant vector will be this, this one, like this, okay. This direction. Laws of uh, vector addition we have discussed it there. This is the resultant vector, okay. And it makes an angle. Let's say beta with the vertical axis okay this one and this will be the resultant vector er vector so the magnitude of the resultant vector will be simply application of pythagoras theorem which will be equal to ebp whole square plus eap whole square okay simple they are right angle triangle if we shift it here this EAP vector, if we shift it here, this becomes EAP vector. So, simple application of Pythagoras theorem to get ER vector that is equal to 3.6, uh, sorry, 3.2 into 10 to the power 4. No, 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 sorry, this is 1.8, EBP is 1.8, and this is 3.6, okay, 3.6 into 10 to the power 4 whole square plus 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 whole square root over that is equal to how much let us calculate it is coming around it is coming around 4.02 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb that is the magnitude okay this is the magnitude 
we have to also find the direction. Direction is if we uh, shift this EBP vector here, lateral shifting, this is EBP vector tan beta is equal to perpendicular by base which is equal to EBP vector magnitude by EAP vector magnitude which is equal to EBP is how much 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 this is 3.6 into 10 to the power 4 1 by 2 0 0.5 beta is equal to tan inverse of 0 0.5 which is equal to it is coming around 26.6 degree with respect to the vertical axis so with respect to we can say the EAP vector okay with respect to the EAP vector that will be more appropriate Okay, because this angle is making the resultant angle between the resultant vector and EAP vector. Okay, so this is the magnitude, this is the direction. Okay, this. So this angle it makes the resultant vector ER vector and in between ER vector and EAP vector, the angle is beta. So that is that you have to specify it here with respect to you can write the vertical axis you can also write with respect to ap vector both will be correct okay so this is the uh, solution okay